commentators, there's so much more pre preparation than any other position, especially color. I, I do about 10 hours of preparation for each football game alone. Just one football game is 10 hours, and it's, it's crazy how much prep he has to do. And that's a lot of what being a commentator is, you know, because, I mean, just failing to prepare is preparing to fail. What is a specific moment that was your favorite from this year? A specific moment. I would probably have to go with the homecoming game for football. It was pretty great seeing all those people running into the field when we won, so it was nice to see that, and I got to see my friends there for a bit too, so. Sectional against Cathedral for, or I mean, uh, wait, Carmel for football, because uh, I mean it was sectional championship. Brownsburg hadn't won in forever, and they got revenge on um, Carmel for beating them the year before. And I thought it was fun to be at and kind of be a part of everything. And he is a stud. Check out this run. Check My out favorite event this year was the Carmel football game. The uh, I mean, Coach Hart the hadn't won a sectional here at Brownsburg, and that was his first one, so that was a big deal to the school and to him and the football program. I was just so proud of them and what they had accomplished this year after being a young team and going down after the game to talk to some of the players. They, they all knew me, and it was great to – I mean, I had some hugs. Uh, it, it was pretty awesome experience just to be down there with them, and then after that, I had to go help out my crew and get everything packed up. So, I mean, just a, just quick talking to them was amazing, and then uh, the crew was really happy too. It was just a great night. It really was. What, are, what specific moment was your favorite from this year? Uh, I'm not sure I have a specific favorite moment, but a moment, a specific moment that I remember very clearly. Uh, is when we were doing a football broadcast uh, one day and the event had just started and I get a call from one of our cameramen and he tells me that we needed a uh, viewfinder cable, power cable, um, because they couldn't see anything uh, that they were filming at all. So I had to run out there uh, as quick as I could and sort through a bunch of cables looking for the power cable and it was very hectic, uh, but very memorable as well. Some challenges are, some people don't really like communicating with you on things, if they're next to you or not. So, stuff like that. If like people are new, I guess, like they don't know what to do, trying to teach them some stuff. Uh, could be a little bit challenging, but you can usually get that out of the way real fast. Right now, everybody kind of stuck in one spot for a moment. Ball gets clear. Cora White playing midfield effectively there. She wears number 18. Brownsburg gets position? away for a second. Can they capitalize on the Royals? Backtracking. Oh, one goes My favorite position is doing cameras, mainly camera three, because we get to set up in class, and then we get to do that outside of class. What is a specific moment that was your favorite from this year? Uh, probably our first broadcast, which was soccer. It just went really well, and it was fun. What was your favorite event this year? First soccer game for the uh, class. It was fun doing something new. Free kick opportunity here. Now let's get something going. 
Here's that play down here. Mm. Yeah, Mendoza, like I said, made a good, valiant effort at it, but good for her that she had a My favorite position is a camera operator. Um, to prepare for it, I look back through old broadcasts, see what we've done in the past, um, sometimes look at professional broadcasts and see what each camera does, or for specifically for me, I usually run camera one, which shows the entire game action pretty much all the time. It's the main shot, so you need to see everything that's going on. Um, just making sure that the viewer can see what is happening on the court, on the field, or on the stage. What specific moment was your favorite from this year? My favorite specific moment from this year would have to be cross country. It was the first time we've ever done cross country and I think it turned out really well. Um, me and Dakota Gillette were up on top of the scissor lift and got great shots from on top of that scissor lift. Um, going from the starting line all the way out towards one of the elementary schools and all the way back to the finish line. And I think all the shots in that uh, show looked amazing and I think it turned out much better than we could ever thought it would. My favorite event was the Guys and Dolls musical, mainly because um, it was actually a really fun musical. And then a lot of my friends, like, were part of like the background or were either working on it. And so I got to talk to them after the words and correcting them on like how they did. Oh, Guys and Dolls. I love theater, and it was fun getting to help record it and watch it at the same time. I got the horse right here. The name is Paul Revere. And here's a guy that says if the weather's clear, can do, can do. This guy says the horse can do. If he says the horse can do, can do, can do. But the passengers, they knew right from wrong. For the people all said, sit down, sit down, you're rocking the boat. People all said, sit down, sit down, you're rocking the boat. And the devil will drag you under by the sharp lapel of your checkered goat. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, you're rocking the boat. Oh, I like all the people that are in extended play because um, it's really cool to make to do a broadcast with people. But it's cooler when it's people you have fun with and enjoy being around. What event was your favorite and why? I would have to say wrestling versus Crown Point because I directed that game. It was actually one of my more successful directing it's jobs. Like you really warm up and start to to train and warm up at the very very start, but. I mean, after your first match, you get your blood flowing. Your so blood my favorite shit. position is to commentate, and um, basically you just tell everybody what's happening. You know, why is this happening on your screen, and you know who's who are the people involved, and um, basically just tie the whole broadcast together is the way I see the commentator position. What do you have to do to prepare for commentating? A lot of prep work. Um, Lucas Thatcher is a lot crazier than me when it comes to prep. I basically just get. Um, kind of the stats that I think are relevant, um, max preps I always hit up and, and look at that uh, sort of stuff for stats and basically just try to be as prepared as you can be. What are some challenges, if any, have you faced when doing or preparing a broadcast? Uh, certainly the biggest challenge is just 
preparing for each thing. I mean, just how much it takes to prepare, especially for me. I like to prepare a little more than the average commentator, I would say. I'd say Drake, Drake York, he does a pretty good job of preparing, but I probably have a little bit more than him, uh, to say the least. Um, I just, I really like to have as much as I can for each game, and that's definitely the hardest part. A lot of problems for the opponent is they've got to call their plays, and it's really hard to do that when there's so much noise going through here. So the fans, the band, the cheerleaders, I mean, Brownsburg just really feels comfortable here, and I think they want that advantage as both teams want every advantage they can get. I mean, the HCs, both the HCC teams, the HCC is so tough as Westfield is the number one team in state at one point, but now they're not. Smith scanning the court, looking for options. He makes his move around Big Sean. Pora tries to block, pass in the corner, shot made by Bukaman. My favorite position for extended play is coming down to technical director. You do have to prep for it a decent amount by knowing your controls, by making sure camera angles are right, also by making sure every camera is in you know right position, coming down to white balancing or even just looking in the right spot. And really just a really, a really slow offense. Needs to score. What is one specific thing you like about extended play? Well, I kind of like the camera work. It's really fun. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's really slow. It really just depends on the person. Jamal! No basketball. Jake, this legend could be a crap first time. My favorite position um, is usually technical director. I said that weirdly, but what I usually do is basically there's a bunch of keys that you gotta press to make sure that the camera, like that you want on the TV, is usually on air. Uh, my favorite position is replay. I like running it because you're in the action. You always got to be on your toes ready. And you don't really have to do much to prepare. Um, that's why I kind of like it, because you never know what's going to happen. So we will wait for this timeout in 4.55. The game is season on our Eager knocks down another one. 11 points on the night. How about the Brownsburg Bulldogs? Huge lead for them, 43 to 28. Take a look, Milton, wide open three-pointer is good. Look at that bench reaction, look at Novoli Glass. Uh, my favorite position is definitely color commentator. It's usually just what I do most of the time. I can do other positions, I do actually almost every position, but uh, the main one I do is color commentary. Um, really, it's just breaking down the game for whatever sport that it is, football, basketball, baseball, softball. It's looking down at the details that goes on within the game and talking to the audience about that. They've been trying to shoot from three, they just have not been knocking it down. I love working the graphics. We put, or well, I put up all the different things that you see on the broadcast that obviously couldn't be there in the real world, like scoreboards or the name of someone popping up. By number 22, Audrey Talent. There is Debbie Smiley, head coach for the Brownsburg Bulldogs. 121 and 59 in her seventh year here. What event was your favorite? I can't really pick one. Um, any of the basketball ones I feel like are, are fun because it has its moments of being fast paced and slow paced, um, which I like to be good at both of those. And the fast paced stuff, um, Lucas and I work really, really well together on. And um, you know, they're so intense too. The field house gets really rowdy, especially when you have the band in there. It's really an atmosphere like no, no, that, that we stream all year. By Josie Rhodes falling away. It's a really hot start to the game, and you guys played great in that first half. How do you look to pull away and win this game? Well, you know, I think we need to continue to be uh, aggressive to the basket, maybe get to the free throw line a little bit more. We need to. Pull on Allen, 30 Michael Addison, his first 10 on the team. Those are the 
My favorite event was the Bulldog Spectacular. We got to learn, we got to use both top and bottom of our uh, TD board. This TV, our TD board is normally only used on the bottom part, so it was actually very nice to be using top and bottom for the first time, as it was, of course, our first time. something I'm thinking about and planning on doing uh, as a job in the future and I think this class is like really helpful for um, just learning how to do it at least the basics of it. Favorite positions, probably announcing or keeping stats. Um, I think announcing is pretty self-explanatory of what you do, um, you know, commentate on the game. Uh, keeping stats, it's a little more difficult, but it's not too bad. You just got to keep track, like football, keep track of like yardage on plays and stuff and who's got how many yards rushing or passing or receiving. Uh, yeah, that's basically what I do. What is your favorite position? What do you do in that position? And what do you have to do to prepare for running that position? I would say producer, because just all you gotta do is just make sure everything goes all right. And you can choose the graphics, but you'll choose when they come on. That's the director's job. So what you need to do to prepare is just make sure you pay attention to the meeting and make sure you know what's going on at all times. And it's mainly for positions for people who are in the live TV video class. Anyways. Finally, why did you join this class? Because I did extended play last year and I really actually found it interesting to go behind the scenes and broadcast live events. Uh, I think the thing I like most about being in extended play is the sense of uh, teamwork that it gives you. Um, it feels really great to be uh, part of a team, uh, part of something and uh, it just feels great to work with other people and just be in that team if it's really great. When coming into this class, did you know what you were getting into? Actually, no. I was expecting this to be live TV, um, not live TV, um, broadcasting. You know, the, um, the TV that everyone sees in fifth period. So I was not expecting this. I am not going back either way. Mm -hmm. Hello Brownsburg High School, thank you for watching BHS TV. Today is Friday, April 22nd. I'm Anna Sevilla. I'm Josiah Bohr, and here's what's going on at BHS. What is a specific moment that was your favorite from this year? My specific moment uh, would have to come down meeting everyone. Uh, at the very start of the year, when we met every single person, meeting both Connor, LT, Dakota, just every extended play me member. I had a great time and it was fun because those people just kind of created a tiny family inside the school and for in this club. So, um, actually, can we just take a second to appreciate that you did Guys and Dolls, which just got first place at the IASA? Oh, I was actually, I was really surprised by that. I do think it was also because we had the other night we did Guys and Dolls, which we wasn't on, but I think I still, um, like, I'm, I was really proud of myself.
Third place for best live event broadcast, BHS TV and Extended Play Studios, Brownsburg High School. Second place, Homestead Live, Homestead High School. And the winning entry in live event broadcast, BHS TV and Extended Play Studios, Brownsburg High School. The winning entry, the judges said, was an excellent technical production with quality audio and video. things I think um, this has really taught me how to stay organized a lot better I'm I'm still a jumbled up mess but a lot less than I used to be and um, you know just the skills you learn you know whether it's actually how to set up or tear down a broadcast do a position you're not very familiar with um, do something you're not comfortable with which I've had to do a lot here you know I didn't really I, I still don't pay attention to a lot of stick and ball sports but um, to learn that stuff and come in here has given me a lot of, um, I guess you'd say, appreciation for the people that do it on a full-time basis. And uh, experience, obviously, is a is a huge thing that I take away from this. I would not be where I am today without BCSE.TV. And as a senior, what is a takeaway that you have gotten from BCSE TV or Stead Play or Live TV? Um, a takeaway that I've taken from live TV and extended play would be that I have grown as a videographer, filmmaker, camera operator, just any area that I've basically been in for the entirety of uh, my four years here at BHS. Um, I believe that Mr. Good and the rest of the extended play's crew has really helped me grow to be who I am today.